today we're going to talk about the differences with drink package or no drink package. Now we've done both in the past. So sometimes it's a good idea, sometimes it's not a good idea. And to us, it all depends on a few different factors. The cruise that's coming up that we're going on with family and friends, we are getting the drink package only because it was all included in the package that we purchased for that cruise. So on that package, it included all your drinks, it included your Wi-Fi, it included priority boarding, a whole bunch of different things. So yes, the drink package was included, but in the past, we have got the drink package just because we thought it would be a good idea. Probably a good point now to point out that I have found that age reflects the drink package. If you're young and a stayer, maybe <laughs> go to the drink package. Look at the value of it. Or if you're my age and you're going, oh, it's 10 o'clock, I've got to go to bed, maybe not with the drink package. So let's just run through the drink packages first. A soft drink package. So on p and it's $10 a day and basically all you get is soft drinks. Now that's Pepsi soft drinks. So they are Sweps Lemonade, Sunkissed, Pepsi, Tonic Water and Ginger Ale. No, yeah, yeah, Ginger Ale, that's included. Okay. Okay, so that's your first option, $10. That doesn't include coffees? No. Milkshakes? Nothing else, just soft drinks. Cocktails. <laughs> but in, in saying that, you can get the soft drink package, or on PO, you can take up to 12 single cans in your hand luggage. So if you are a Coke drinker, for example, or you prefer solo, you can take 12 of your own cans and you can use the mini bar in your fridge. For mini your bar in your fridge. Oh, or yeah. the mini bar that's in your room. <laughs> That's it. So you can use one of those um, options. Weigh it up. How much soft drinks do you let your kids drink? Whatever, you know. Like, so, like really, I don't drink soft drink all day long. No, you might have one a day. Well, so even I do love soft drink, but I can't really justify getting it all day, every day. No, so and I think a can of soft drink on board is like three dollars fifty. So if you only drink one can a day, don't Order get it. When you want it. If you think that you're gonna drink lots of soft drinks every meal yeah. and lots, get it. Mm. Okay, the second one is called the refreshment package. Now the refreshment package is $25. So the refreshment package here includes all your soft drinks, your juices, your beer, no, 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 it doesn't include beer. It includes, <laughs> it includes water. A bit mm. like beer, but mm. yeah, no. Um, it includes water and it includes espresso, coffee, and specialty teas. It's not bad because you do need water on the cruise. I find on the cruise, because everything's air conditioned, you do get dry and mm. you're always wanting a drink of water. Yeah, so that package is $25. Um, what I usually do though is I take my own thermal drink bottle, drink bottle, I can't even talk today. Mm. I take my own thermal, I drink like right throughout mm. the night. So when I go to bed, I have a drink bottle next to my bed, which mm. is like the, is it the thermal? The thing that keeps it cold? Oh, probably. It's a, probably a thermal drink bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so then, anyways, it keeps it cold. So I usually just, or Alan usually goes up to the bistro for me and he'll fill up my drink bottle each night before I go to bed. And that's cold water um, and that's available all day. I think so is tea and coffee if you want to get it from the machines at the bistro. I think they're available all day and night as well. You know why I go fill up your water bottle for you? You probably get a pizza or something on the way. No, I only do it because I love you. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> um, okay, so that is the $25 package. Now, the uh, Before you go any further. Yeah. So did that include coffee and tea and stuff? That cafe? includes espresso coffee and specialty teas. Is that the coffee from the coffee club thing? 
I guess so. Yeah. I think so. Okay. No worries. Yeah. Always a line up at that place. Now, people love their coffee apparently. They do. Mm. Now, the next thing is you can get the premium beverage package and that is $99. And I think that's the one we normally get if we buy our own. If we buy our own package, I think that's the one we get. If we get a package, we get the premium because we just want to drink what we want to drink. Okay, so... But it doesn't include everything, even though no, it says premium. No, there's one more above that. So the $99 package includes all your soft drinks, it includes your juices, it includes mocktails. Um, oh, I forgot the one before that, the $25 one, also includes your mocktails. I nearly forgot. Um, so you get the mocktails with that, you get your water, you get your beer and cider as well. You get your wine, you get your spirits, you get your cocktails. Anything you can order that is under $16. And most cocktails, except Long Island tea, and there's probably another one, but most cocktails were $16 anyway. So all your cocktails basically were included in that 99 <laughs> were included in that premium $99 drink package. Now, I find this package pretty good because I'm on a cruise. Sometimes you feel like a milkshake, but I don't get a milkshake. I get a mocktail, uh, not a mocktail. I get a cocktail, <laughs> like I'll get a, uh, I think it's a Toblerone, which is like the chocolatey flavored milkshakey cocktail. And I'll get that around lunchtime. So it mm. gives you the option of having different varieties of alcoholic drinks. Now, the little trick that they've done with this one is that they have not included your tea or coffee in that package. So the one before it they have, the one after it they have. So the next package you can get, and the last package is the lot beverage package. Now the lot costs you $115 a day, but that includes everything that was in the premium drink package, as well as your tea and coffee. And I think energy drinks as well. Let me just double check that real quick. Yeah, that one is the only one that includes your energy drinks and like the name of it, the lot, it includes everything. So we don't usually get that one because one, we don't drink energy drinks anyways ever. Um, mm. And tea and coffee, if we want it, we just go and buy it when we feel like it. So the thing is, if you think you are going to drink more than $100 worth of drinks a day, it's a great option. But you have to remember that every cruise that you go on has ports. Now, if you're in a port day, you only get off the boat probably about 8 o'clock and you're going to get back on about 5 or 6 p.m. at night. Are you still going to drink 15 drinks or up to 15 drinks those port days? Probably not. not yeah, you don't really last. Look, that's seven cocktails a day. You're not going to drink seven cocktails a day every single day. Probably not. No, no. No. But if I'm going out to the nightclub every night and I'm having... Spirits. Scotches and stuff. Probably. Yes, probably is a good deal. Yeah. If you got to weigh it up, whether it's worth it. Yeah, and I mean, like Alan said at the beginning, when you're younger, that's a great option because you can drink every day. But when you get to our age, do we want to drink every day? No. We have a big day, then a nothing day. And then maybe, big day, maybe, three rest days. Yeah, maybe another nothing day. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or just like one or two. So for us now, a drink package isn't a great option for us. The last time we went, a drink package would have been $1,400 on a seven day cruise. Because if one person in your cabin gets a drink package, the other adults in the cabin have to have the drink package. There's no option about that. Oh, really? Yeah, you can't just one person, everyone has to have it. So if you're a non-drinker. Too bad. You either both don't get it or you both get it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, our seven-day cruise, $1,400 for the two of us in alcohol for a premium drink package. We did do that. Alan got cut off. <laughs> oh, but that was only one night. That's the thing. On one night. I did make the most of it one night. Yeah, and he had his 15 drinks and they said no more. Maybe two. Yeah, cool. Um, so, there is that side of it. But then when the following cruise, we didn't get the drink package. And I think our total drink bill ended up being like $700. Oh, 
for the seven seven nights. And that included, you know, your port stops and everything like that as well. So the port stops, we didn't have a lot. We have a, had a look at our um, statement. Port stops, we didn't have a lot of alcohol those days. The days where we were at sea, we had more, but still it didn't end up um, at the price for the drink yeah. package. Yeah. So usually what happens is um, by lunchtime, well, sometimes Alan used to get your morning cocktail, but not so much these days. Yeah. And you didn't really have your first drink around lunchtime. And then at the restaurant, you might get a, a few wines. And then after dinner, you might have a few shots. And then... But that's it. At dinner, yeah. we prefer just to buy, I'll buy a bottle of wine. Mm. Um, it's not part of it. You can't do that in a drink package. Where oh. I like to just say, okay, I want a bottle of Moscato or something. Let's get that. But you can get your glass. You can get wine by you the can glass. Get wine, yeah. um, and also, I think if you, I think if you have the drink package, you do get a discount off bottles of wine. But then, if you're going to buy the drink package, why would you want to buy extra drinks? I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, there's no real advantage of having the drink package in, when you're going to buy the drinks because you put money on your cruise card and you just hand over your cruise card to the bar staff. Um, it's the same as when you've got the drink package, you just hand it over to the bar staff. So it's, it doesn't make it quicker service at all. No. No. So it's a matter of weighing up whether it's worth it to you to get the drink package and not have to think about putting money on your card. And one of the reasons that we did get the drink package in the past was just for the reason that we didn't want to have to think about the money side of it. So we just got it because we wanted to order whatever we wanted, whenever we wanted, and didn't have to, we knew already that the drinks were paid for. Yeah, so that felt good. Just like, be wary of the 15 drinks yeah. cut off limit each day. Yeah. If you're having a good night. Oh, and it also doesn't include their specialty drinks. So at the deck party and stuff, they might do up specialty cocktails for the sail away party. Doesn't include those okay. either. Yeah. So yeah, there's, and also you can't get a drink package on um, a cruise that, like our three night cruise that we went on. They no didn't, no, you couldn't get a drink package. And also like specialty cruises, you can't like Melbourne Cup cruise, for example. You can't get a drink package on a specialty cruise either. So, okay. there is okay. You finished? Is that I'm what finished. you mean? I'm finished. <laughs> I'm ready for a drink. <laughs> All right, I was finished. Mm. See you next time. See you later. <laughs>